Gazi, Shaz and Ija. Ija for short, they say, and they're co founders of Live Online. What do they do? They're involved in bamboo. Uh, while a little bit about bamboo, while some studies have questioned the extent to which bamboo clothing is UV resistant, a recent study by Deakin University found bamboo fabric is 60% better than cotton at protecting the wearer from the sun's harmful UV rays. So, you know, uh, and I think people do sort of know about bamboo, but I don't know how mainstream has become. And we'll talk a little bit more about that. But so these are two sisters and and you guys are both not designers by background. Yep. So how how did you guys get into this uh this this, this part of this business? Okay, well, first of all, it actually started uh, from our father. Mm -hmm. um, he discovered bamboo fabric in Australia, and he bumped into it um, in 2008. Mm -hmm. And then um, at that time, um, nobody was doing it in Malaysia yet. Hence, uh, he actually um, registered the company in 2009. And then we kind of took over early 2012 and basically running it as our baby right now. Okay, so it was something that he did, knowing that he'll be passing out to somebody else to do the work. Yeah. <laughs> He basically liked the idea and then, yeah, just put the the rest of the idea. Okay, like and, and you guys were convinced about it too, obviously. Yep, All right. we were convinced. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, why the name Live Online? Well, when uh, when it was first started, it was Bamboo Living mm. uh, because it was uh, started with um, home oh. range and things like that. So when we took over and uh, diversified into clothing, uh, Bamboo Living was not hot for, you know, a clothing brand. So, hence, we actually rebranded to Bliv. Right. So, it's uh, Bamboo Living uh, Online. Yes. Online. So, Bliv Online. So, and um, what items do you have at the moment apart from, from uh, household items now, I guess? Well, the main three categories are clothing, home and gifts. Mm -hmm. Clothing mainly includes t-shirts, basic wear, undergarments, and also the a premium batik range. Mm -hmm. uh, for the home, include towels, home decorative items and such. Also, the gifts for personalization for our clients. Right, so they can use it as corporate gifts. Yep, corporate and gifts, What kind of gifts do you have under that? Uh, usually, we have orders for like baby shower gifts mm -hmm. or or um, hampers, uh, customer clothing gifts. as well. Yeah. Uh -huh. Customer t-shirts. Uh, okay, so if you talk about these three ranges of clothing, home and gifts, what's most uh, popular? Clothing mainly. Still, yeah, huh? still. Because I think um, the fact that the bamboo fabric is super soft mm. on clothing, it feels more obvious. Mm. So, yeah, it makes a difference. Okay, so and within the clothing, you're saying, you were telling me earlier that the t-shirts. Yeah, because Do the fact that we have like a couple of range of designs, uh, hence a lot of people, you know, prefer that. Mm. Yeah. How often do you change these, uh, the designs for um, t-shirts? Almost every, once every quarter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also within the clothing, uh, I noticed that your clothes are fairly straightforward, not many, not too many prints and all that, because mm. it's easier to, to move and yeah, all that. Yeah, our focus is more on the basic wear. Mm. Uh, hence, uh, the basic um, uh, styles and uh, clothing line. Um, but in terms of the prints, uh, we save it or, or focus more on the uh, the batik, batik range. The batik range. Yes. So the batik ones. Who do you work with? We collaborate with uh, Nick Intan of from Alana Ilham Creations. Mm -hmm. Uh, she designs our batik range and then uh, on bamboo fabric, woven right. fabric. And each piece, they are they are hand painted every piece and custom made. Okay, so it's, that's why it's a little bit more pricier. Yeah, a bit premium. Okay, so with your even with your with your clothing, is it you, most of your things are sold online? Yeah, most of it is sold online. Um, other than that, it's uh, via eBay on in Bajaya Times, Times Square, Square. Mm -hmm. or via events and exhibitions that we participate. In. And we also have our showroom in Plaza Montiara. Okay. Yeah, where people can view and uh, touch the product first, you know, to get familiarized uh, with the products. What kind of bazaars do you take part in? When's the next one you're taking part in? Um, the first one, I mean, the upcoming one, uh, is actually Sick and Market, Sick, Sick and Heat Market in okay, Mansa Shopping okay, Center. Okay, yeah. And then uh, the next one, it'll be SME Expo in Mid Valley. That's promoting entrepreneurs. Right. Uh, and the next one, the next big one is iGEM, International Green Expo Malaysia, which is in KLCC. Okay, so these are the kind of things that you yes. participate in. And you find, and, and the idea behind that is end users, but also whole, wholesalers. Yes, because it's, we can reach more on, you know, on ground and we can explain to, um, for those who are unfamiliar with the fabric, we can explain in detail, let them feel the product first, and then 
Uh, it's more of awareness as mm-hmm. well. Yeah. You know, uh, where do you get your material from? We mainly import the fabric from China, uh-huh. of course, uh, but we manufacture, manufacture the finished items locally. Right. Uh, collaborating with single mothers associations, other small entrepreneurs, uh, local t-shirt factories and such. Okay, so you get queries from other countries as well, right? Yes. And I guess within, even within Malaysia and other countries, you know, how, um, what's the benefit of working with you? Why can't they, you know, go directly to China and get the supplies? Well, uh, first of all, um, <laughs> the uh, I would say the language barrier, mm. first of all, uh, because we mainly have um, the fabric, we import the fabric, so fabric is not so much of, you know, um, a lot of communication details. Yeah. Hence, it's more direct in, uh, in terms of that. And uh, whenever outside, outsiders or foreigners uh, come by from us, it's actually too easier to um, communicate mm. because you know, obviously we speak English mm. um, and they can understand better. Mm-hmm. And also the minimum order is not so high because right. if you, let's say you import from China, the minimum order quantity ranges from like 1,000 and above up to even 100,000 pieces. So that's quite impossible for certain local, um, I would say, smaller entrepreneurs. entrepreneurs right. Yeah. Hence, we try to uh, make it available for wider market. So, mm. yeah. Okay, so at least it, it helps. So you are really the wholesaler. I mean, it helps ease their burden. They don't have Correct. to order as much as well. Yes. So when you, when you what's so different about the bamboo though? I know you are a bamboo connoisseur. <laughs> <laughs> So, I hope I know effects. Uh, the difference bamboo fabric is that it's much more softer. It's extremely comfortable. It's breathable. Hence, it's more cooling as well. It's easy to care for. It's also antibacterial. So, all that compiled is it's antibacterial. Yes. Is that? It's from. It's from a natural. Um, bamboo kun. Bamboo kun. I don't know how to pronounce okay, it. Okay, so, yeah. so it's naturally. It's not processed to be no. antibacterial, no. and and. Uh, What's, you know, if you think about it, what's to stop Malaysia from growing our own bamboo trees? Is it a type of bamboo? Yeah, it's for, for the bamboo fabric, they use a different type of species that mm. only, it's called Moso bamboo, mm. that only grows in cooler climate countries, mainly China, Japan, or Korea. Uh-huh. So we have yet to have that kind of species over in Malaysia. Okay, but that said, we haven't really done our research. You were saying Correct. that we have about... 70- yeah, we have about 70 species in Malaysia itself, mm. uh, and no um, no one has actually taken up um, the project or a research to find, to out. find out whether okay. among that 70 can we actually do a bamboo, can we turn it into bamboo fabric. Right, but the ones that I guess from China, it's a bigger bamboo plant. There's a lot of yeah. fibre in, yeah. and I don't know if the ones in Malaysia are that big. Uh, they are bigger yeah. ones, they but are. more of for architecture and um, furnitures and mm. um, handicrafts. Yeah. Okay, but no one's done yes. research. <laughs> okay, so, all right, well, we'll talk a little bit more about uh, your business uh, in just a moment. Shazila Ghazi and Shahiza <laughs> Ghazi from uh, Live Online is open for business, BFM 89.9. You? Uh, yes, we hope to get more people interested. Uh, however, currently, um, there's actually more inquiries from outside. Okay. Yeah. And in terms of the pricing, it is still more expensive compared to cotton? Yes, it's about 15 to 20% higher. Do you think cotton. it'll change? With higher demand, it will. Probably mm-hmm. will. Probably yeah. in time. Yeah. But... As for now, cotton is still the highest demand. Okay. Because of the wide usage, of course. But it, would it be priced the same as silk per, per se? No, silk, silk is much higher, actually. I'm sure, yeah. because you got to look at the worms. <laughs> <laughs> but if you touch the fabric, it is silky soft. It is silky yeah. soft. That's what you pay for, yep. silky <laughs> soft. Uh, so, all right. And um, in terms of bamboo technology, do you, have you seen improvements over the years? Um, well, in terms of what... Well, actually, bamboo fabric has known... Um, widely known uh, since 2001. Uh, recently, I think about uh, last year or two years ago, uh, there's actually a study being done uh, where the technology of um, making it more eco-friendly in terms of the process. Um, but however, the study is still in progress, so mm. it's not widely known yet. Okay. Yeah. Can you share anything when you talk about how the process can be more eco-friendly? What element would you know? Basically, uh, less chemical. Okay. Yeah, so that's the basic one. Still chemicals are being used right now. It, Unfortunately, it's, yes, it's not a hundred percent eco friendly, mm. but we would we would say that it's more eco friendly because of the sustainable resource and it's easy to cut. You don't need a lot of detergent. Right. You don't need softener. But in the processing, would it be more eco friendly than cotton? though, do you think? In the long run, yes, because um, uh, the studies that's been going on mm-hmm. um, is actually has been proven that um, it's more eco friendly without the usage of chemicals. 
Okay. And yeah. lesser water usage as well yeah. during the process. Uh, you've been to a plant before there? Uh, just the farms, but yeah. What are, what are farms like? Yeah. <laughs> farms are pretty much just um, an area <laughs> designated <laughs> bamboo just bamboo for bamboo yeah. clothing usage. But they are certified in terms of they don't, uh, there's no... Um, Pesticides, okay. uh, they don't use a bamboo, they grow very fast. Right. So you don't actually require a lot of water Which compared to cotton. Yeah. Are, they, are they panda bears there? <laughs> no, not in the farms because the farms really, they literally it's, grow yeah, the bamboo just for the fabric. For the blue, yeah. And it's a different kind of bamboo anyway. Yes. yes. The one that Paul would eat. <laughs> okay. All right. So, um, when wh what's next for you guys? I know there's Bamboo Day, which is a new discovery for me, September 18th. Correct. And we've had a, a Bamboo Day event here, right? In Malaysia, yes. And this is going to be the second time. Yes. How will you guys be participating in that? Well, this year we're actually celebrating from 13 to 21st of September, uh, starting with um, an event in UPM University mm -hmm. Putra Malaysia, and then we we'll have one Mon Kiara in Kuala Lumpur. Uh, we have at Taman Bukit Jalil, where the tree bamboo tree planting will happen. And we also have at Petroscience KLCC. So, so that will range, yeah. Where we'll have a small talk on bamboo fabric. Okay. okay. What was the response like for last year? It was quite um, uh, receptive. Um, and people were like, wow, there's actually a world bamboo day. There's such <laughs> thing, you know. <laughs> so everyone was like pretty amazed. And yeah. last year was the first time ever that we celebrated in Malaysia. Mm -hmm. And the fact that we celebrated for a whole week with many many activities was a part, part of the yeah. highlight yeah. and we actually won they actually had a little competition last year right yeah among 26 participants all over the world okay and we actually won the most creative <laughs> world every day event yeah serious yeah. okay yeah. What, what were the, some other ideas though we had like little fun stuff like bamboo shoot eating competition <laughs> yeah i know people were, like eating bamboo shoot yeah and then yeah, yeah mm -hmm. and then uh guess the bamboo tea which one is the bamboo tea yeah and then we had a little cooking demonstration with bamboo okay now you, okay, you guys won the award for most creative what were who was number two who was number three what were ideas did they have oh mm -hmm. uh, because they had different categories they had the most creative and they had the most um people attending and then they had um a few more categories which you can't remember so there was no first and second and third right so it's just the most creative and then the most people attended and then something else yeah okay so there are many other possibilities that you can do with bamboo like you're saying bamboo tea yeah and, and things like that so there is potential for other the other uses of bamboo plenty actually. really like what else it's from medicines clothing um furniture modern furniture yeah, that, yeah. uh handicrafts, not the, okay course, not the old time modern architecture musical, yeah. musical instruments from Electric guitar, violin, um, oh, wow. saxophone, bam made from bamboo. Yes. A saxophone? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we actually have um, a local bamboo saxophone maker in Sabah. Really? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to speak to this guy. So there, so there are a lot of things. That, and I guess so that's going to be... Who who initiate these events? Is it you guys? Well, it's actually our father. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> because he actually has a foundation called right. GIEF. Uh -huh. It's a global in Innovation Entrepreneurship Foundation. Uh -huh. uh, and he promotes bamboo. Mm, um, overall. Yeah, overall. And I'll, we partner with uh, MTIB, the okay. Timber Industry Board under the Ministry of Plantation so Industries falls, and Commodities. It falls under the Timber yeah, Industry Yeah, so he gives like, a, the whole big picture and he introduces um, World Bamboo Congress, World Bamboo Day, and all that. But so this World Bamboo Day, though, it wasn't started by him, was it? No. no. It's been happening for a few years it now. It started in 2009 okay. in uh, WB World Bamboo Congress right. in Thailand. Yeah, there's actually a lot of the World Bamboo Nations. <laughs> yeah. So it's a fairly new thing, 2009. Right. They only started having yes. this. Okay, September 18th is a uh, World Bamboo Day and they've got events. So how can people find out more about this? They go to your website as well? They go to our website or you can go to World Bamboo Day Malaysia on Facebook okay. where we update regularly in terms of what's happening and what to expect in terms of the programs and the activities that we have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, thank you, sisters. Uh, on behalf of the sisters from Live Online, they giving away three shawls which is very multifunctional from a, sh a shawl proper to a tudong kind a of vest, thing, vest yeah. you name it uh, so they're giving away three of these shawls are uh, very simple I know I haven't mentioned this but you know very simple. what's your website address the it company is, is called yeah. live online <laughs> yeah so what's your company what's their website address okay. Send the answer with your full name to 0162019000 0162019000 
uh, the what's their website address so your the answer with your full name uh, Shazila Ghazi and Shahiza Ghazi from Live Online Open for Business BFM 89.9